Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys in this tutorial I show you how to build a login page inside of um CMD and or CMD or um Notepad. So um this was not my first totally not my first time re-recording this. Totally didn't screw up on the keybinds. So now I have to re-record this. So <sighs> this is meant to go out right now. But I screwed up in the recording, so I have to re record this. But, anyways, so right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the login page that you guys, you know, you guys should. Um, login page for, uh, seem to be whatever. Now, you guys, I don't know why you guys want to do this. You guys can control your friends and members to tell them to log in or something, so they're incorrect. And then you can only be, you'll be the only one that, like, you control them, like, you can log in. Uh, they use the same password and username, it, you know, uh, stuff like this. So, first of all, I'm gonna leave this in the description below. Um, I'm gonna leave this, uh, text in the description below. Um, but, pretty much, um, this might be a short one, the other one was like 20 minutes long. But, um, pretty much, what you wanna do is you wanna copy and paste this text in the, <laughs> from the description below into, you know, your whatever you're on, um, into your notepad, uh, anyway, you want to click on save as, click on anywhere on the thing, you just make sure on your desktop, but do not click on a file, that is very important, do not click on a file, so it will not work, then you want to click on anywhere on your thing, and then I'm just going to do test to dot bat, and you guys want to make sure that you put dot bat, it's very important that you put dot bat, if you do not put dot bat, it will not work. Remember as well, when you're done putting the all file, or save type as all files, and then the file name as whatever your thing is, at dot bat, make, you can do it if you want, it does not have to be like mine, but you can put whatever you want before the dot bat, make sure it ends in dot bat, if not, then it will not work. Encoding stays to UTF, and then, um, minus 8. Then you just click anywhere on there, make sure that it's not saving to anything else, and then click on save, save, and then as you can see, a new thing popped up. So now what I'll do is just for these purposes, I will put that there, and then I'll put that right there. There you go. So now, what will happen now, as you can see, I'm on the user face. I can sign in with the password as test and the user as test, and then it welcomes me in. Um, if you, and I'm gonna, uh, uh say right now, guys, that if, um, you guys do forget your password and username, you guys can go into the thing and just, you know, <laughs> check it for whichever user, but, eh, no, but not, should not be that hard, um, to remember it, or, wait, whatever. Um, but, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to, um, customize, or, first of all, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the password and the username for uh, one user. And as you guys can see, uh, so first you guys want to start off with this. So when you open your thing, you want to open your, um, your batch file, you, and a way to open it, or the way to edit it, is you can actually delete your other thing, I don't know where it went, disappeared, but you can, you make sure you don't delete this, you can keep this, or the thing, and then you want to click on right click, and then you want to click on edit. And if you have another text, or if you have a text document on your desktop that has test, or it's named test2, but it's not a batch file, then you can just delete that, but make sure you do not delete the thing that is the two years on it. You can delete the one that has lines if it's the same name as the batch file. It does not matter in this, in the moment. So, first of all, remember you guys, you want to right click on this, click on edit to open the file, and then you guys want to go to, um, to change the password, or to change the username, you guys want to go here where it says if, and then percentage user, and then percentage, and then equals and equals, and then between here, it'll say, it'll say username here. So, uh, this is exactly what it'll say. It'll say user name, right, right there, and then, uh, it will say right there, password, <laughs> right there. So, that's what it'll say in the description below. And then you guys just, you know, <laughs> copy and paste and whatever, then, you know, you guys are done. Um, now, you change this out, you want to destroy these, or you want to get rid of these brackets, or the, uh, open and closing ones here, and then you want to put whatever you want. Uh, for the test purposes, I'm going to do, um, I don't know, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, as the username, 
and then I'll just do test as the password. Now, this does not have to be the same, you can be different, so you guys do not have to put or use the same thing as mine, um, but this is just for the test purposes right now. I close that, I open this, I put in one, two, three, and then test, boom, and I'm, then I'm in. And you know, you can see that <laughs> yeah, I'm in. But now, if you guys want to get a bit more, uh, you know, in, into the thing, or into the uh, adding and moving uh, stuff, then you know you can. But pretty much, that's just for changing the password and username. You guys can change it to whatever you want, you know. But this is just, um, you know, th this is just this. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. So one, two, th or one, two, three. And then if I put the password in wrong, nope, does not work. One, two, three. Test. Boom. And if I, and then if you can see right here, it says well, either if I either type in log out or log off, it will, it will do this. It will sign me back to the, uh, the, the, the front page. So, if uh, you guys want to, you know, do that, you guys can. Log, and then out, same thing works. Um, and pretty much you guys can just do that. Now, this part, if you guys want to, um, how'd you explain it? If you guys do not want to watch the rest of the video, um, and know how to customize all this, um, you guys just want to end off here and, you know, be done with it. Go ahead, but this is just to show you guys how to do it. Now, I'm just, now, if you guys want, I'm just gonna do this part for the people that do want to know. So, this part will, or a past this point will be me showing you guys how to customize it. So, customizing all this stuff, the color, the text, adding the, uh, things so I can change the logo and stuff like that. Uh, changing that. So, pretty much, I'll be showing you guys people that want to, uh, how to do it. So, um, that's, that's, that's pretty much what I'm, essentially doing um if you guys do want to um like add more things it will i will do that but for now um like for now i'm pretty much just gonna do show you guys how to uh customize it. i'm not gonna add it i'm not gonna add another user but pretty much i'm not gonna add another user unless you guys want to if you guys want to know how to add another user um, or add, um, or add, if you guys want to know how to add another user, or add more things besides log out and log off and stuff like that, then, um, you guys can, or just comment down below that you guys want to see more, or, um, you know, if this video gets over two likes, then I will do another video, or I'll do another tutorial of how to, um, I'll re revisit this, and I will customize, or you guys how to customize all this stuff and add, all it where it can open Chrome stuff like that, open certain files and stuff like that, and even add more users. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this short and simple, and I'm going to just leave it as it is. But for now, for the people that want to see me or er, uh, see me customize it and need help with the getting customized, then you know you guys can just stay tuned. But pretty much, this right here will be the color. So if you guys do know Xbox Minecraft. Um, not Xbox or Minecraft One Edition, but it's the newest version of Minecraft on Xbox. It has the command block. The command blocks have different colors, and the colors are actually in letters or numbers. So one is dark blue, two is lime or two is green, uh, three is cyan, four is red, five is pink, as six is gold, seven is gray, and I think eight is black or blackish bit. A is um lime. B is light blue. G, I think, is also gold. K, I don't know what K is, but yeah. So I'm just going to do A just for the tutorial. So as you guys can see, you know, um, that's the color. Then I can, if you guys want to change this where it says log in right at the top there, um, not the, not this part, but this part. Um, This is how you guys customize. So you guys just do where it says title. You guys want to put, I don't know, um, um, I don't know, one, two, three. Um, I'll just do that. Now, if I save and close that, excuse me, uh, as you can see, the up, or the thing updated, and it says login, and then username, and then, um, essentially, you know, it says one, two, three. Now, 
if you click on this, and you'll see that it says Echo Login. This the Echo Login is this pretty much. So if you guys want to customize this, um, I'll just do three three. Two, <laughs> sorry, three two one. Let me just close that, save that, and then open that right there. Boom. Now three two one as you guys can see there. And you know that, that that's how you guys cause my if you guys want to know how to customize the incorrect password and username thing and all that stuff then you know you guys can watch if you want to know. Um but right now I'm gonna put in the username and then I'm gonna put in the the password. There you go. Now as you guys can see there it says welcome one two three. You guys can change this by simply going here. So if you wanted to say something else, you guys can, but for right now, yeah, the user that it signed, the username that, the username that you put in, it will say welcome that, you welcome that user, and then it will just, it'll say, and you guys can change this, so I can just say, uh, hi, user, and then, actually, I wonder if I can do this without closing it, nope. <laughs> So if I do one, two, three, test, boom, and then I do it, and then it says hi, one, two, three. So pretty much, you know, you guys can change that. Now that's just for that part. So if you guys want to customize this, where it says test, and then the two dots right there, you guys can by just going to underneath, right underneath that. Then it's set slash p comment equals test. Now that's the one that I currently have it set to. Um, what will happen is, uh, you don't know, I don't think you need to have it there, but for right now, this is what it'll look like. So pretty much, when I open this up, one, two, three, test, boom, it now says hi. So, now you guys can, you know, have a customized text for when you, when you open it up. So now, um, what will, uh, what will happen now is, um, once you guys done that, this right here, you guys can also customize. Oh, like I said, I'm not gonna be adding. I'm just gonna be showing how to change it. So if I click, on, if I click on this and I click on log out right here, so I click on log out, it goes back to the sign-in page, and then, <clears throat> and then if I it log off, so this is the same thing. If I wanted to do, if I, if you want to change this to where it's just, if you know. You guys don't want to have to type all the the stuff and whatever. Then you can just say LO, which I which stands for log off, log out, whatever you guys want to do. And then um, when I sign in, one, two, three, and then test, I can just do LO, and then I'm back to the front page. And this works. Uh, other words, like you guys don't have to just have that, but you know, um. So essentially, that's just gonna, if there's, you know, more that you guys wanna see, I don't know if not, um, if you guys want to see, um, how to customize the, this right here, uh, like, the, the, if you guys wanna know how to customize more of it, so, like, customizing, but I mean, adding another user, customizing this, so you can just change it to whatever you want, if you guys wanna know how to do that more, then at least get one to two likes on this video and comment down below that you guys want to know how to do it and I will do it. Um, but for now, um, I'm just gonna kind of end it off here. <laughs> if you guys, like I said, if you guys want do want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe button and um, make sure to see more videos that I am um, publish. I mean, I'll be publishing on Monday, or I'll be trying trying to publish on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. So, um, hopefully you guys do enjoy, um, me trying to upload on those days and actually uploading. So, um, you know, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.